Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna show you how to make chiles rellenos. If you guys are keto squad, I'm gonna leave some suggestions in the description area for you along with the full recipe on how to make some delicious Mexican chiles rellenos, okay? So if you guys are interested in learning how to make this, and let me tell you, I'm keeping some common errors in the recipe so you guys can see how to fix them, okay? So if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay, what we're gonna do first is we are gonna roast our chilies, okay? And we're gonna roast them until they're completely charred all around. That's gonna take you about uh, four to five minutes, depending on your burner. If you do not have a gas burner, you can do this on a pan. Um, I'm not really good at that, but it does work. I've seen my mom do it, and when I do it on the oven, it just, I don't roast them well. They over, they get mushy. So what we want, is we just want a quick roast on the outside charred, and we, we don't want our chile too soft, okay? So we're gonna do that quickly. I'll show you when I turn it, and I'm gonna move it along quickly for you guys because we do have a few steps here um, with a lot of details. Okay, friends, it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over, and this is the char that we're looking for all around. And I'm gonna warn you, your house is gonna smell delicious. Even people that don't like chili recipes or anything like that, they smell this chili and they're gonna be like, what is that? Especially to all my non-Mexican friends that usually don't cook like this, let me know what your family tells you when you're cooking. So I'm gonna continue roasting this for two minutes and I'll see you guys when it's ready. Okay, so my chilies are roasted. I didn't wanna overcrowd this and show you guys. I wanted it to be very gentle for those of you guys that don't know how uh, to do this step. So what I do now at this point, when I've roasted all my chilies, I put them in a bag. You can put them in a paper bag, fold them in some type of paper, um, and set it aside for 10, 15 minutes. What it's gonna have to do, it's gonna help it steam up and easy for you to peel the outsides. Now you can choose to peel your chilies however you want. Some folks got mad because I rinse them sometimes, and sometimes I do have time to take it, to take the peel off with my hands and a paper towel and things like that, but I'm gonna tell you this. Home cooking, when you have a big family and you have a busy family like we do here in the States, I'm gonna rinse it, okay? So I'll see you guys uh, in just a moment for our next step. Okay, friends, you're gonna pick your favorite pan. You're gonna add a little bit of oil. That's gonna be to your discretion because I know my pan needs a certain amount and your pan might need more or less. Just roll with that. Okay, once you've oiled up your pan, you're gonna add your uh, ground beef. And start breaking it down. You can make it with any kind of ground beef, right? It doesn't have to be like a certain fat percentage. Uh, no, just make it comfortable for your home. Okay. That's how I would roll with it. For this part, you only want to sprinkle a little bit of uh, salt, not that much, just a sprinkle. That's why I'm not even gonna give you guys this, the portion. I'm gonna say just sprinkle it with like the tip of your fingers, like a little pinch, and sprinkle it on the top. You don't wanna make this part too salty. So I'm gonna let this cook a little bit um, before we get started adding our ingredients, okay? So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, this has been uh, cooking for about four minutes. Most of the redness from my meat is gone, so I'm gonna make a little uh, pile in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my chopped garlic and onion. I'm gonna an add my Anaheim pepper. If you don't have Anaheim, do the best you can because the Anaheim really does give it a good flavor, but I'm sure that not everybody have, has access to it. So if you don't have access to Anaheim, try it with the bell pepper. Um, it's gonna change the flavor profile, but it'll still work. And now we're gonna add our finely chopped uh, potato, just into small, tiny, tiny, tiny <laughs> little pieces. Okay. 
And when you chop the potato that fine, just like you guys are fine, fine, <laughs> uh, this ends up cooking a lot faster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cook this for another four minutes with the lid on, okay? So I'll see you guys shortly. Okay friends, while this is cooking in the back for us, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of oil. Use the oil that uh, you feel comfortable with, okay? And once your pan is hot enough, you're gonna add and saute your garlic and your onion. Again, I'm gonna repeat to you guys, everything that you guys need and the amounts is gonna be in the description area. As soon as the onion garlic mix together, you guys already know that smell. Woo! It is bomb.com, because I'm old like that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cook this for another 45 seconds to one minute. And you wanna make sure you have it on a medium, medium low heat, because you don't want your garlic to burn. You burn your garlic, it kinda starts changing the flavor profile, so you wanna be careful and delicate with that. Once your onions start getting translucent, you want to go ahead and add your Anaheim pepper. Give that a good little stir. Here comes our tomato. And I'm gonna continue to cook this until it softens up. Once you see your tomatoes are super uh, soft and you kind of end up getting a little bit of a crust on your pan, then you're gonna be ready for your next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and saute, keep sauteing this on a very low heat in the back. Let me switch real quick so we can uh, finish off our, our ground beef, okay? Okay, so I currently have my heat on a medium heat. And this is the part where you want to add your cumin. If you don't have cumin, you can skip this step. But based on how it looks, I'm going to be adding uh, a little bit more cumin for me. I'm going to leave the recommendation for you guys, but I eyeball my cumin and I need a little bit more. We love this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this maybe another two to three minutes. The potatoes are almost ready. And if you notice, I keep I keep my flavors for each step that I take a little bit lighter than the other one um, because for this dish, the flavor is gonna come from the little broth that we're gonna make for it, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this to the back switch, switch off a little bit and then uh, continue with our recipe. Okay friends, that took me about six minutes to get to the softness I want and that crust on the bottom of the pan that's gonna give this broth a delicious flavor. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add uh, two cups of water. And if you need more broth for, um, for the recipes that you like, uh, make sure you double the portions that I've recommended for you guys. Listen, I know some of your moms, grandmas, family members make this and they leave everything soaking in the broth. I'm not one of those. I have a family with sensory and I personally will, I've been known to gag when I have it that way. So I, when I'm at home, I make it the way that I like and you guys will see how I serve it. So once you've added your water, add your, uh, your bouillon. It's your bouillon. And I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook for about 
I want to say eight more minutes, okay? So I'll see you guys when this broth is ready and show you guys our next step. Okay, friends, it's been about four minutes and I'm going to show you guys how I modified my recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, two tablespoons of tomato sauce, okay? Mom, turn around. This turn around, Mom. Turn around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You guys, uh, you guys don't ever want to see my mom and I in the kitchen, like, going at it with the recipe because we, like, we battle it out. Yeah. It's like kitchen battles. And I crawl out of the kitchen when that's happening. <laughs> yeah. So let me mix that around. Because I really like um, the thickness that the tomato sauce gives it. So start off with two tablespoons, like my recommendation, and then work your way up from there. Just don't go a lot. Like if you feel like you want more, add one more tablespoon at a time and take it easy. You should never add your whole can in here. Okay? Got it. So let me go ahead and finish cooking this and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay friends, it's been a total of about eight minutes. Now we're gonna do our next step. Um, you're gonna get your Mexican oregano and I put my pepper blend in here at the same time. And just really Just make it into a little powder form, okay? Pour it in. And the Mexican oregano a little goes a long way, so the measurement I have, start with that and then just start adding small amounts as well. Ooh, that smells good already. And now that I'm gonna turn off my pan, I'm gonna add my desired amount of cilantro. If you can't handle it, skip it, but it definitely really brings this dish together. You guys know. I use cilantro like it's lettuce. So now that we have all the things we're gonna need, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to crack your eggs. <laughs> we're gonna get it cracking, you guys. I think that's the hardest step for a lot of people, but I'm gonna show you how to simplify it and get it perfect every time. Okay, friends. So what I have here is I have divided my egg whites and my yolks. Well, we're, these are room temperature, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start beating up some egg whites, okay? They are large eggs that I'm using, but you guys make it comfortable for your home. One, two, three, let go. Ah! It didn't work! Ah! <laughs> Damn, we're going to have to do it again, you guys. Stage fright. <laughs> I wasn't even plugged, girl. Okay, you guys ready to do this again? One, two, three. Let's go. That, that was lame. I ain't doing it if you don't do it right. Ready, guys? One, One two, two, three. three. Let's, let's go. go. So let go or let's go? Quien sabe? Let's do this. <laughs> I know you guys are excited. You see foam? You know what I'm gonna say, keep going. You're not ready yet. <laughs> been here about two minutes just about you see a little peak you're not ready I am using this on a high speed I start off slow medium and then I blast it and that's what this has been going on we got to blast this a little bit longer okay Oh yeah, it's fluffed up good. 
see that we want the hard fluff like the hard peaks we don't want the super light ones because we want this to hold up when we get to our next portion so it's going to take you about four or five minutes depending on your blending or if you're doing this by hand it might take you a little bit longer okay Okay, friends, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and add our egg yolks to our egg whites, okay? We're gonna fold them in. Um, before I do that, I wanna talk to you guys about your flour uh, content. I've made this with about two tablespoons of flour before. Today, I'm gonna be using, this right here I have measured is one fourth, so we'll see about how much of that I'm gonna use, okay? Give that a good little fold. I think enough to crack them, you know? Mm -hmm. Are the eggs room temperature? Yeah, they are room temperature. Okay. okay, so now when you have the eggs mixed a little bit in here, fold it in, not mixed, I'm going to start sprinkling my, my flour in, okay? So if you're watching your uh, flour that you're using, you want to keep it a little bit lighter, just know that I have done it. I'll link it below when um, the first time I made uh, chiles rellenos fully on my own. So proud of myself. If you guys watched it, let me know. It's a really good uh, turnout. Yeah, it, re it really is. Mm -hmm. okay. It's an intimidating dish to, to make, I think, at first. A lot of the times I tell you guys, you guys have watched your moms and your grandmas make it, but have you really done it yourself before you're putting judgment on anybody else? And you know what? Like, you are humbled when you make dishes like this. You're like, all right, <laughs> you have a little bit more respect for your grandma, your family members. But yeah, it is an intimidating recipe, but you guys got this. You really do. Okay, so just keep folding. And if you guys already know how to do this and you do it a different way, congratulations, I'm proud of you. This is how I'm, I'm doing it and making it comfortable for my home, okay? You have to keep a light hand, right? Because you don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to mix it. You just want to like fold it in. And I know it gets like frustrating for some people. You don't have the patience for it. Just, just know that it's going to be worth it. Okay. Come at the the middle. Come around and fold. Just like that. To all my keto squad out there, um, for your portion, you know what? I was looking at the at the flour carbs and like one tablespoon of flour or two if you were going to use this and it's way less than like the cauliflower flour which I despise it's disgusting it just smells really gross it's horrible even when I cooked it I was like no nah, mm -hmm. girl I ain't touching this I cannot make tortillas out of that that's ridiculous but I'm not trying to offend you guys when I say that it's just for me that was just I like almond flour and oat yeah. flour like those yeah that would work like so you guys can use that for this portion okay you know I don't like you guys to miss out on anything. So just keep folding that gently. And we're gonna have to, as soon as we're done here, we're gonna go in and move fast, okay? So we're pretty much set with this. I'll meet you guys over at the stove for our next step, okay? Sounds good. Okay, friends, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a little bit of flour Okay, and you want to coat the outside of your chile with the flour. That way when we put the egg batter over it, it sticks and you're not going to have any complications, okay? Because if you have any moisture, it's just going to melt off like butter. And I'm the nice lady that takes out those big seeds so that you don't have to bite into it. 
I really dislike that growing up. So, if you like the seeds, keep them in. For me, I think that everybody enjoys it better without biting into the seeds. And I think a lot of people are just scared to, like, step outside of the complete traditional rule of things, you know? Yeah, I didn't even know that there were seeds in there until I got older. Really? <laughs> yeah. Girl, I hated it. Okay. Tumbles in? Yes. Alright. I'm just gonna line them up right here, pretty much. Okay, this is a part where we're gonna fill our chile as much as you want. Just don't get too crazy about it. Fill it enough to where you'll be able to seal it. Okay? And then as far as cheese, I'm going to leave options for you. Today I'm using the Mexican cheese blend because I know that that's what most of you have accessible to you. And I want you guys to feel like you can make this recipe. Okay? Because you can. And depending on your chile, some of them will slice open on their own. I actually didn't cut a knife through any of these. They were easy to just put my thumb through it when I was taking out the seeds. If you have a difficult time with them closing, you can use, um, what is it, the toothpicks? Mm -hmm. But challenge yourself. You can do it. And if you don't want to do any of the filling, you can just fill it up with cheese. I think my favorite one is the shrimp chile relleno. Yep, that's so good. I love it. I love it. Oh, that one has a little bit of a hole here. All right, I'm gonna have to do a chopstick, chopstick, a toothpick with that. Let me rinse my fingers real quick. All right, guys, this is gonna be a smooth one. We're gonna dip them in, and then we're gonna transfer it over to the pan quickly. Now, let me see if my pan is ready before I start with my batter. No, less of falta. Okay. Okay, so if you get one that's completely busted like this, don't challenge yourself on that one. Put a, a toothpick and then just keep an eye on the one that has that. Okay? Because this is like super soft right here. And make sure you take that out so nobody gets on the injured list, okay? That one's for your suegra. Just kidding. No, suegra, that's not true. We're not giving that advice. We want you guys to heal your relationships. <laughs> Canica. Okay. Let me see. All right, my oil is ready. I usually test it with a little piece. So now that we did that, I'm going to go ahead and come in here. Okay. Spoon, spatula, whatever you have at hand. A ver. Cover that hole. Make sure it's soft enough. Okay. So make sure you have it nice and sealed. Put it in. And you're just going to fold this over, okay? Just like that. Because you've got to be really gentle or else it's going to get very difficult for you. Usually I come from under and I'm going to transfer it over to the plate real quick, okay? I mean to the pan. One, two, three. Alright, am I on the pan here? Yep. Okay, I'm going to check my other chile, see how we're doing, if it's ready to turn over, which I am for this guy and be very gentle when turning over because that top one has a slit, right? Yeah, it has a slit, so you're gonna need a little help. My heat's on a medium low, especially because I'm using a cast iron, but you are gonna need another um, spatula to kind of turn this, okay? So 
So if you've never done this before, be kind to yourself. Because even me that I've been, um, since that one last time we did it, I still make them and I still have my own personal complications with these. And it just depends on the chile, it depends on the season, it depends on how runny your eggs are and how fresh they are. There's a lot of things, so don't, don't feel bad at all, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one. Ooh. And you have to be super careful too because egg burns real easy. So just make sure that it's warm enough to fry it and you're not burning your, um, you're not burning your egg. And give this one another turn just to make sure that I got everything that I needed done. This is a messy recipe. I don't care how perfect people are, it's messy. And not Lionel Messi, okay? <laughs> Lo perfecto sin humano. Yeah. That's what grandma used to scold us when we were younger. Yeah. We're teenagers. That perfection doesn't exist, it's not human. Our mom stole for excellence. <laughs> Not perfection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so that that's ready for us. I'm gonna start taking this one out so that I can finish up the other ones that I have there. I think I have a little bit of a raw section here. Let me add it. Let me help it out nice real quick. Nice and fluffy. Yeah. And get the nuts and get that side. So if you get that little part, just for me, I know that I need to hit it up a little bit more. These are so massive. Look at that. This one's ready to get out. Apparently I'm doing things with my left now. <laughs> All right, so let me get started on my other ones. You're just on the pen, right? Oh, no, I'm watching you stuff these. Oh, okay. Stuff these chiles. Stuff the chiles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me go ahead and put my whole hands in here. Don't act like you guys don't know. You know that if you weren't on here on the camera, I'd probably round this all up with my own hands. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Your clan, your hands are clean and you're That's feeding your right. family. Oh no, it's ready. Let's do this quick. Ooh. There we go. This is more my style. This big one right here. So if you guys have a little bit of a hard time when you're flipping it, um, go over with the oil like this. And don't even risk it. <laughs> yeah, don't risk it. I think I was trying to finish up and I put two on one and usually if you do one at a time, you do really well with it, okay? You guys think I'm not gonna show you how to do the one with the toothpick? 
I sure am. Those are a little bit of a nightmare. Okay. Is this all the toothpick? No, this one isn't. Oh, okay. The special one's coming. The the the, the, the special, special, yeah. <laughs> the okay. <suegra> special. <laughs> so come in here with the little spatula. Help yourself with another little gadget and turn it over. Mira Whoa, nomás. Oh, look at that. Move over that chile too fat. Woo woo. <laughs> You guys know I'm old, okay? That shit is thick. Thick and juicy, what's up? Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi. I know, I dropped a few pounds. You guys don't even tell me thick and juicy anymore. Oh my God, stop sexualizing that food. <gasps> <laughs> when are you gonna cook in a bikini? Girl, don't even get me started on that sickle. <laughs> like, I'm just, that. like I'm barely working on getting a bikini and this idiot wants me to work. A bikini to cook? Imagine getting oil on my feeders. Did oh. his mom cook in a bikini? Is that what he's missing? He's missing his mom's nurturing uh, look. You know his mama didn't even feed him, girl. Mm -mm. Shout out to all the respectful gentlemen. Yes. We have and all masculine energies on this channel. Yep. We oh, it. I adore you guys. Oh yeah, just help yourself wherever you see spots that are needed. You're in control in this kitchen. All right, this one's coming out. Ready? Now let me get close for this nightmare over here that we're gonna have. Okay, let me on. let me show you because this this little guy is torn apart from everywhere. I'm gonna have to re do this one. I see me. Girl, this thing is falling apart. I'm gonna save it somehow. All right. Pour a little bit of flour here. And let me turn my heat down a bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, is to save myself a little time because my eggs are starting to get runny. It's hot in here. I'm gonna go ahead and go this way with my hand. And yes, I wanted to get my hands into it. <laughs> do it, do it. So just put a little bit of this so you can start and it's not falling into your batter. Because these are complicated. There's no reason why you can't use it, you know? So go ahead. I don't think people would throw that. You think so? Some people yeah, some are, people oh get really gosh. frustrated. I know that I've been that person that cooks and I'm like, ah! <laughs> Like I want to take off on my horse, you know. <laughs> and then you're like, it's sandwiches. All right, for so everything. use a spatula, something heavy, and bring it over. Okay. And if you see a little hole in the beginning, just go ahead and cover it like that. Save it. Save it, slice. Save it. Let me rinse my hands real quick. Okay. I'm in charge of the pan, everybody. And she doesn't have her hands anywhere near it. Oh come on! I know how that reacts. Yeah, girl, we were reacting to those earthquakes like a boss. Hope you guys are all safe and not too shaken up, no pun intended. Yeah. You guys, I went into survival mode. You would have been proud of me. So remember the drills we were talking about? She definitely was full drill mode. We had, thank goodness, we had our safe spot. We had everything packed. We knew where to go. And we all passed. You know what the thing is that like maybe about two, three years ago, I started getting on these uh, survival kicks and pretty much, I pretty much talked my whole family, bring me an extra pair of clothing, um, water. So we have, you have a survival kit going. Yeah. Too. I recently bought canned rice. Pretty pricey, but I'm going to slowly stock up on that. Why, why canned rice? Girl, can rice will last you like 30 years and like even if there's like a water disaster or uh -huh. something, like it's not gonna get in the can. So we have cans of chilodio and cans of rice? That's right. That's bomb. Let's dry free some tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> I can do without tortillas, girl, but rice? Not me. You already know me. Do we have beans in our little pile? I'll yes, uh, dehydrated beans. Wonderful. You guys are probably like shook. This girl really does like food. Yeah. Because I'm not about to go into an apocalypse and not eat well. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So like I have like um, 
feminine products ready, you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. I've seen the little kid, the kid in the bag. <laughs> I know I'm. I had. Um, I'm grateful I, because my kids and I are included in the in all the prep. Girl, I even have like a medical, like military grade medical bag. Okay. I, know you do. I have like scissors. I have things to stop blood clots. Medication, you name it. Yeah. I just don't have antibiotics because I haven't gotten sick in a really long time. All right, so just take your time with that chile. Make sure that you've coated all the parts that need cooking for the egg and cake. Cake. Damn, I want cake. Yeah. <laughs> Egg um, cooks quickly, so don't keep it here too long and move it along. You really did save that for chile. I did save the chile. It was being a pobrecito. I know. And the thing is that everyone's like, you, they're too long. Well, do you know how many people are going to make this for the first time and be like, my chile fell apart. Save it. Yep. Okay. All right. Got a little bit of this little batter here that mm -hmm. I'm just gonna continue with this other one that's torn apart. Okay. Okay. This one I'm just gonna make with cheese. That's it. Solo con queso. Do you guys have queso fresco? That's the traditional way of doing it, which somebody's probably in the comments that didn't watch the whole video is gonna rag on me about, but. Queso fresco or Oaxaca, you know? Oaxaca's good. If you can't get a hold of those, mozzarella uh, blend works good. The Mexican uh, pre-shredded bag. Um, I'm using the Costco one. All of these are great, okay? Well, we know some cheeses can get pricey, so if you're making this for a big family, just use what you what you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, unless it's like Christmas dinner or something. Yeah. Ready? Here we go. You really do have to help yourself with a little bit of a, a spatula, you guys, okay? So I'm going to finish cooking this one and I'll meet you guys on the island so I can show you how I prepare um, the whole combination. Yeah? Sounds good. Now that we prepared everything, our sauce is divine and I'm going to pour it over. Remember how I mentioned that I don't like my chile super soggy but I definitely enjoy all the flavor. For those of the people that don't like the soggy, you can serve it to them like this. If you like it the way you're traditionally having it where it's soaked. Then you can just pour your chiles in the pot and then um, get them out when they're ready. Oh gosh, that smells so delicious. It really does. Ay, que rico, mira. Yes, ma'am. See, for me, that's enough broth, but I know for some people it's not. So let me go ahead and take a taste. Okay, friends, I just show you how to make these chiles rellenos. Now we're gonna go ahead and dig in. Ready? Look at that deliciousness. And I know some of you that have never made this are be like, how do you know if the egg is raw? The egg is the easiest thing to cook and we're gonna eat it. I'm glad that I made a lot of these because I can scarf them down really quick. <laughs> She's gonna inhale cheetahs right mm -hmm. now. Mm. Oh heavens. This is amazing. That's why the filling, you don't need to overdo it because the sauce and the cheetah and the balance of this is what's gonna make it for you. Mm. Somebody's like, she's just swallowing, not chewing. You know, it's remarkable the things that people say about eating. Like they've never had anything soft that you just swallow, you know? Mmm. <laughs> Girl. Ay, que rico. Okay, okay, guys. Let me hurry up and finish here. I really <laughs> like, okay. I really like chile relleno like this. That's the thing with Mexican food. You just keep going to town on it, okay? So I hope you guys drink all your agua fresca today so you're indulging just like this. 
Lucy, you ready to come in, girl? Hold on, guys. Let me get let my dog in. Hmm. Where was I? Eating. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Just those few bites, I almost finished the whole chile. Mmm. Qué rico está esto. I don't know where my mouth giving is. Doesn't matter right now. <laughs> <laughs> How am I? Good. Really? Good. If I look like Bozo the Clown, agarrate. You don't. Agarrate. Oh, that clown's also, it's fine. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, friends, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please take the time to subscribe. Click that bell when it pops up for notifications. And I'm excited to continue cooking with you guys. On that note, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!